Hey, what is up, everybody? Ross Cessna from Spiritual Phoenix Studios. We are on day 25 of the 40 Servants Introduction Ritual, and today we are going to meet the uh, idea. What is up, everybody? Ross Cessna from Spiritual Phoenix Studios. We are on day 25 of the 40 Servants Introduction Ritual, and today we're going to meet the idea. But before we do that, let's talk about the signs from the healer. Uh, as far as the healer, like I said, uh, yesterday I took the day off. I actually rested like the whole day, um, took extra time in bed, ate a couple extra snacks, like really unwind, unwinded and decompressed, uh, really felt that healing energy, even went to bed early last night. Um, it, was, it was really enriching and good. And one of the uh, big shifts in consciousness that I had is understanding that um, I need to invest more time in self-care, uh, especially because I work for myself. Like I, I work for myself because I have conditions that make it hard to work a traditional job. Um, and I worked incredibly hard at traditional jobs and I burned myself out and I was never like happy. Um, and in doing this, I had actually built that habit up. And over the past couple months, I've been working on learning to relax again um, and to earn money and to, to work, do a, a honest day's work, but also not to make myself miserable in the process. And it's still uh, finding that balance. But this card was reminding me to maybe invest a little bit more energy in nurturing myself so I can be of more service to other people um, because I don't do anybody a service if I'm running myself ragged. And with that being said, um, it was a very subtle and gentle energy. And in my meditation, uh, I really kind of noticed that today too. It was very um, nurturing and healing. And uh, I'm really gonna take that to heart. Like I wanna diffuse that energy into my day overall and to have it be very supportive. Um, and I think that a lot of us moving forward as a culture and as a uh, species, we're going to be seeing that popping up in into our day-to-day -day lives more, uh, the necessity of uh, grounding and meditation and all of that stuff. So with that being said, we will get into the ritual for the idea. I call on you, great servant, the saint, to come to me so that I may know you. I am Ross Cessna, the master and ruler of this domain. I call you here so that you can introduce me to the servant, the idea, who is known as being the most healing, ooh, that's the wrong one, who is known for exuding inspiration, creativity, insight, and understanding. O oh, great servant, the saint, bring the idea forth so that I may recognize it, and in return it will recognize me as their friend and master. Ever obey me, great servant, the idea, and ever please me. In return, I will offer you acknowledgement and sustenance so that your energy, potency, and fame increase. Give me a sign that you have heard my call and have come forth to welcome me as your master and friend. I make these offerings as a thanks to both of you. And for the offerings, I burned uh, imagination incense because obviously you need ideas. Uh, you need imagination for ideas and then intuition because I, I honestly think that ideas are kind of the dance between imagination and your intuition um, and learning how to use those in harmony because a lot of times people make it seem like they're um, they're working against each other when they're not and uh, with that said let's meet the idea Okay, so now it is time to meet the idea. This servant shows us how to be original, inventive, and creative. It encourages us to see that inspiration is always around us. And the mantra is, creativity is easy. The key words are creativity, inspiration, ideas, imagination, ingenuity, originality, vision, design, discover, form, invention, compose, illumination. And the idea's prayer is, oh, great servant, the idea, who exudes inspiration, creativity, insight, and understanding. Fill my head and being with new wonderful ideas so that I make them a reality in the world. May cre creativity come to us easily, come easily to all. And as far as like um, the energy of the idea coming into my life early, 
uh, throughout this whole process of um, doing the 40 Servants introduction, I've had all sorts of ideas, and I've even come up um, <laughs> with my own mantra that kind of was essentially, I used to always like have to run around trying to start every idea or write every idea down, um, which is incredibly challenging to actually get anything done, especially if you have a lot of good ideas. So I've effectively been telling myself I have a lot of good ideas. I don't have to act on all of them immediately. Um, and this is just a weird little anecdote. I remember reading a story about Tom Waits, um, and he kept like getting ideas for songs. And eventually there is a conversation where, um, he effectively told his muse, Hey, not fucking right now I'm driving or something along those lines. And he changed the dynamic of it to where he wasn't so much a, a slave to his ideas. He knew that they would always be there and then he would always have access, um, to it. And I think that that's a healthier approach. And in, in this, Tommy Kelly kind of points out that uh, when you have a good idea, you need to act on it. And I think that there's truth to it, um, but especially because he has it represented almost as a plant or like a seed. I also think some ideas we need to plant in our subconscious and let them mature, um, nurture them and let them mature kind of like a, a plant or a seed. Because even with like um, another project that I'm working on, I wanted to do it two or three years ago, and I've sat on it um, and developed the, the concept more, and it's a lot more robust of an idea now, and it's going to be executed ex uh, exponentially better, um, so you have to kind of parse all of that out. With anyhow, I'm done kind of going off on that tangent, and I do want to preface um, that tomorrow we are going to be introduced to another one of the four devils. Tomorrow is uh, Jerdal, or Jerdal, I don't know how to pronounce the name, I'm horrible at that kind of shit. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what comes up for that. I'll have to do a little bit of research and see what, see what uh, she represents, and we'll do that tomorrow. Day 26 tomorrow, holy shit. Um, thanks so much for checking this out, and I hope you have a blessed day. Peace. Hey, thanks again for checking out my channel. If you haven't already, subscribe by hitting the Phoenix down below and check out more of my videos over there.